George. George is a pelvis. Kids, especially younger people, want to learn when it suits them, at a time it suits them, and in a place that suits them, and not necessarily sitting in a library or listening in a lecture theatre. So this is the modern way of teaching. And educast.org is trying to change the way medical residents learn in just that way, creating documentary-style videos to enhance learning that would normally come from lectures and books. I had struggled all the way through med school and, and struggled through residency as well. I thought, God, there has to be a better way of teaching medicine to, to future doctors and for future trainees. So I thought, why can't we use modern day filmmaking and modern day storytelling and animation to try and tell what are and what can be very hard descriptive uh, and sometimes in orthopedics especially very mechanical things. So far, the videos produced in Toronto cover the entire orthopedic syllabus. The series is available to the public and in use at schools around the world. What kind of things will people see in these videos that would be different from something you, you might see in a textbook? Like, What are we seeing visually that is helping? Uh, but we tell the story of hip replacements or, or knee replacements or how to deal with trauma, um, but in enjoyable, watchable, small, concise, bite-sized chapters. Their hope is to next create videos for patients and possibly work with the Ministry of Education to bring this type of learning videos to the high school level. Because when I was at high school, things like chemistry and physics and, and, and the sciences were really difficult and they're very visual things. So I would love it if we could team up with, with the Ministry of Education for, for Ontario and, and make some of the high school syllabus uh, for them. Well, their next step is to create videos on other medical topics, such as oncology. To see what's currently available, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.